All right. I'm Patrick Quinn, and he is Flying Illini member Marcus Liberty. You're watching the Fan Media Network. Okay, Marcus, the day has come upon us. Chin Coleman and Orlando Antigua are things of the past. They have gone off to Kentucky. The new guy on the, on the staff is actually your guy, Chester Frazier. Yes, are you man. excited about you got to be excited about this come on yes you you know when when chester was playing at the university of illinois and i used to go to some games and he was one of the guys that would always come and talk to us you know and and, and, and mention how proud he is to have that uniform on even though he was not from chicago the chicagoland area um he was from that baltimore area he always would you know talk to and especially me you know we kept in contact even when he wanted to go overseas i was trying to help him you know get overseas when he still wanted to play basketball and um and then he just told me one day he said i don't think i want to go play i want to i want to coach i want to give back uh so then he joined you know the staff and then you know you know what happened after that bruce Le bruce weber left and and then you know he got an opportunity to go coach with bruce and did well did well coaching under him and got him some players and and so happened this opportunity happened so quickly that you know the two guys left Antigua and Chien Coleman they they left and and went on to you know be a part of uh, Kentucky uh, coaching staff and it opened up the doors for Ch Chester to come right in and I know Chester you can hear him when he's talking on on social media about how how he bleed orange and blue and how he's so excited about coming back home. You know, he calls it home because this is where he got his opportunity to play college basketball. And that's the thing we need to remember is fans have always wanted an Illinois guy. Well, here we are. We're getting an Illinois guy. Um, that's important. The other thing to mention here, like you said, he's from the Baltimore area. He's going to go to other places to find players we don't illinois doesn't have to go just to chicago that's been pretty evident under this past coaching staff we need to remember a couple things here we didn't know anything about orlando antigua most fans didn't know anything about chen coleman before they got to illinois they brought their own flair they brought their own you, you know all, all that all, all that flair with them to illinois and look who they brought in and it, the same thing could happen with Chester, because what I've heard other people say, I've talked to um, I, on, a, on a Zoom call with Brad Sturdy of IlliniGuys.com. He said that the word that keeps coming up that, that, that coaches around the country say about Chester Frazier is that he's a relentless recruiter. What does yeah. a relentless recruiter do, Marcus? Build relationships, you know, and, and tie into their network. So... If Chester has a relationship with an AAU or, or or a local travel ball team, he builds that relationship with the coach or the the people who are running that program. Um, I remember he was recruiting the kid from here in Florida when he was at Kansas State, and he called me and asked me that I know of the kid, but I didn't know of him. But so happened the next week he came into my gym. That same kid, you know, be from from Orlando area. And he was working out with one of my point guards and we just started talking. And then all of a sudden I started talking about, you know, basketball. And he said, well, it's a coach out of Kansas, you know, Kansas State that's recruiting me. And I said, what's his name? And he told me his name and I got right on the phone and called him. I said, Chester, look who I got in the gym right now, you know, and he's like, wow, small world. So, yes, he is wow. one of those guys that I'm not going to give up. You know, and not just put pressure on a kid to say you have to come, but build those relationships. And I think he can reach kids where they at. He's one of those coaches that probably will play a video game with a kid. You know, if they come to the school, because it, you have to, have, you gotta, you gotta reach these kids where they at. And a lot of times, I think coaches still go the old school route. You know, I'm just gonna show my face and this and that. Kids are not, they're not impressed with that anymore. So you got to take it, you know, step further, you know, and yep. try to get to know the parent as well. But the kid, you got to text them when you, whenever you can allow to text them, you, you got to do that. You know, kids are 
they're not really trying to talk to you no more on the phone. So the text messages and the social media DMs and all that, I think that helps, you know, build and, and help your recruiting. So not only do you have to talk to them on their level, but you have to also treat them like a adult, you know? Because let's face it, college basketball, college football, any college sport is becoming a business because with the name image likeness thing. So you have to prepare them for those days ahead, right? Yep. And I think Chester, I think Chester is a good fit, you know, for university, for our school, uh, because of what he did when he was there. He was one of those hard nosed point guards. He'll get in your face. He'll rah, rah, rah. He'll motivate you. He wants the best. So when I when I see a Chester Fraser walking into someone's house and talking about the experience that he had at the University of Illinois and what he can bring and what he can help that next point guard come out of the school, I think it's a win-win for, for the university. Yeah, he took a personal that when Eric Gordon decided to go to Indiana. Remember that? The Man, chest did bump? I Man, did I remember that. And, and we all thought that he was going to go uh, come. To, he committed, actually. He verbally committed to to our school and to the university. And then all of a sudden, you know, Indiana came back in and said, Shh, you cannot go to the University of Illinois. You you, you can't, they can't, we can't. We can't let that happen. And, you know, Chester's going to be one of those guys that's always going to be fighting for the Illini, pun intended. I will say that. Oh, no doubt. So, no doubt. Yeah. It's going to happen. Um, let's go. Let's go talk about a couple guys that could possibly be on Brad Underwood's uh, radar. Because as of today, the 10th of May, um, I've been hearing from people that there's a decision uh, that's going to be made this week on who's going to uh, who's going to join Chester Frazier on the staff. Some big names have been popping up um, that hmm. Brad Sturdy of the lineeyeguys.com has been saying. Hmm. Um, so. He mentioned uh, Mike Menenga of Oregon. He's a top recruiter, top assistant there. They've made the NCAA tournament consistently. And the other thing that we should always mention is that Menenga is uh, from Rantoul. So he's a local guy who loves Illinois. Um, another guy who's on the on the radar, according to Sturdy, is Kamani Young. Um, I'll just kind of give you just a little bit of, of uh, what he's like. He's an assistant head coach for UConn. Uh, the last two years, he's been pulling in top 20 recruiting classes, and uh, he's really been an X's and O's kind of a coach um, where the kids can relate to him. Um, so he's a top candidate. He's brought in a guy like Zion Cruz, 6'5", 185 you know, um, uh, point guard, who is actually an Illinois recruit. Um, the kid's from New Jersey, so he can play either backcourt position um, he's a true scorer. Like that's the kind of guy that Illinois needs. Is a guy who's always going to, you know, be driving the hoop. That's where that's where the game is. It's not just three pointers. You got to shoot from somewhere between 12, 15, 16 feet from the hoop. Now, no doubt, no doubt. And Cruz, the, the gentleman you just mentioned, um, and if he has that relationship already, all, already with him, I'm pretty sure he probably do. And mm -hmm. He has an opportunity to come to the University of Illinois um, and, and and make a difference. I mean, we saw it. a lot of people, a lot of young, a lot of young, a lot of young athletes saw what the University of Illinois was all about last year when they watched them on uh, television, on, night in and night out, uh, watching Io Dusumu play, watching the style of play that Underwood was displaying out there on the on the floor. So now when the these young kids come, they see, oh, I can go, I can push the ball up, I can shoot the three, I can make the the, the the passes. It seems like Underwood is letting some of those guys play their games. So a lot of these guys who elite, you know, these five star, four star, three star recruits have an opportunity to come in and display their talent. And the Big Ten, uh, what better way to do it? I mean, you, you, you're going to be on television a lot. <laughs> yes, so you will. Big Ten, the Big Ten Network is 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 a huge network, so it's all over. It's, play, it's being played all over the country. So you got an opportunity to, to showcase your talent in front of a lot of people. Yeah, if you play for Brad Underwood, you're guaranteed to be on that showcase three to four times a week. There's no doubt about that. Now we would be remiss before we go 
if we did not mention Kofi Coburn, Coburn um, uh, everything that I've heard lately is that he wants to go to the NBA. He does not want to come back to school. Um, th that Those are coming from sources that have worked with him, know him. Um, I have this really strong gut feeling that Kofi is not coming back. That's the that's the vibe I'm getting. Yeah, and I've been hearing the same thing. And you know what? I think that's going to even make it make the university even a little bit more special that the coaching staff is not trying to hold kids back, even for their own personal reasons that, you know, Underwood could have went to him and sat down and said, look here, one more year with the, with me and you're ready, you know, for the NBA or, or whatever it may be. But Coburn, he thinks he's ready now. He wants to take that opportunity. And I think Underwood still has that good relationship with him with saying, I'm still going to try to help you. So you can work out here at the university. Uh, use still all of the things that you had. Um, I'm sure he's talking in his talking to him in his ear saying, come back and get your degree. Um, so those are the things that kids, you know, especially kids who have aspirations to playing in the NBA one day, they want to hear that from their coaches. So you would want to go play for a coach like that to saying he's not going to just for his own personal gain. Keep me here. And I think when that's Kofi what he has did. until uh, the first week of July to make a decision official. Um, but the other thing that comes into a play is if he signs with a, a non um, approved agent with the NCAA. So once he does that, then all bets are off. He can go to the NBA. So we'll kind of keep an eye on those two factors before uh, July 7th of this year. OK, so um, there you go. That is the latest. It's always a fluid situation, especially when it's in the off season. Lots of moving pieces here, Marcus, right? Not a lot, a lot. Even with the coaches. I mean, you see coaches, you see not only that the university lost, you know, some players, that we lost some coaches, you know, and you're seeing it all over the country. It's not just at the University of Illinois. It's all over the country that coaches moving, players moving. Uh, so you basically got... You basically have the transfer portal for players and coaches. <laughs> the coaches <laughs> are in the transfer in the coaching transfer portal. So they, it's they a moving new around. Yes. It is a new wrinkle. And Illinois is not in rebuilding mode. They are in reloading mode, my friend. Reloading, that's right. Until that's next time, everybody. To host a fan show or appear as a fan on a fan show, create a profile in Fan Media Network. Then look for the news page in our website and fan show resources page. Help yourself. We give show hosts a show graphic and team colors, a simple short show format, tips on pre and post production, ideas to get fans and guests on your show, Apple News distribution and show sponsorship sales and services to help featured show hosts earn money. Show hosts use our iPhone app to publish their shows. Our website supports Android users.